good day from Florida. I was, uh, I woke up this morning and I had that who song in my head that goes, who are you? Who, 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 who are you? And it made me wonder, you know, it's like, who are you? What are you doing? You know? Cause it seems like in my life, like everybody is like trying to define who I am and what I do. And it just is a very annoying, like my ears ringing right now when I'm saying this, that's weird. But um, I know who I am and what I do, but it seems that a lot of people have defined me in a different manner. One time when I was working as a flight attendant, I told someone that I was interested in Druidism and ancient, you know, religions and everything. And then, <laughs> when, where was I going? I was going to Amsterdam. And then, like the next week I was going to Tokyo and it's like, oh, you're the witch. <laughs> so it went from Amsterdam back to Detroit to, to Tokyo in just a week, I was known as the witch at Northwest. I mean, this happened to me many times when I worked for Northwest Airlines. And um, it just made me wonder, like, you gotta be really, really careful what you say to people because a lot of people don't understand, you know, what you're doing or how you're doing it and um if you're a curious person and you like religion and ancient arts and stuff like that i like egyptian stuff a lot and celtic stuff pics you know from up in scotland and i always study all those different things and people just misconstrue that i'm just trying to be a witch and of course, you know, people don't understand that anyway, you know, people that have special gifts of, you know, psychic abilities or whatnot, prophetic dreams, that they don't understand that they just call you a witch, even though you may have helped them in the past with your psychic abilities, they still are like, oh, she's a witch. <laughs> so I just wanted to let people know if you do have special gifts like that and people misunderstand them. You know, you're not alone. I have it happened to me. That's why, that's one of the main reasons why I'm such a hermit is because they don't define, you know, people just define me in all kinds of weird ways. And, um, another thing is, of course I have long hair and I like horses and I dress like, you know, and, you know, riding gear a lot and farm gear that um people just think oh she likes country music and she's country girl yeah i am a country girl but i i have always always been big into um punk rock music and speed metal and stuff like that so and people are like why well, you know you don't look like you listen to that kind of music well do you have to be a certain way to look like stuff i'm sorry i don't have my black hair in my uh, piercings and my tattoos. I don't don't want to have tattoos. I choose not to have tattoos. I've always been that way. But um, just remember who you are. You know, don't let anybody else define you. You know, you know what you are. Even people that you've, you know, even when you're with someone and you're dating or something, they define you and they think of you as a different way than what you really are. <laughs> Or maybe someone just goes out with you to use you or get some kind of something out of you, you know, energy, ideas, whatever. Just don't let people define you, you know. Another thing that I have always felt like that people have underestimated me over the years and they use me because of my kindness and generosity. But um, in the end, you know, disloyal people get cut off totally. I'm a cut off kind of person. Like if you, if you use me and you've proven that you're not going to change, then you get cut off. So people have a hard time with that because they're so used to my kind giving heart. So just remember, be who you are. Don't let anybody define you. Only you know who you are. Have a good day. It's cold in Florida, so I'm all bundled up and you're probably laughing because it's like 60 here and I'm, I'm up cold. Have a good day, everyone. Cheers.